I discovered this classic called Symphony of the Night. Instead of playing as the dude who slays Dracula, like in the NES game, you play as Dracula's son, Alucard. So you hunt down the good guy and kill him instead. But then, you realize that your guy's name is just Dracula backwards. Are you fucking serious? So then you go and kill Dracula too. What is a man? A miserable little pile of secrets. But enough talk. How about you? Hey, hey, where you going? Get over here, my beat your ass, Dracula. It really is a symphony. You have peace after peace of haunting magnificence. But then they hit you with that. Then Dracula comes in with some smooth jazz and shit. But then it gets too scary. You guys, this is too scary now. This, oh my god! Oh, okay, that's a frog. Okay. But then it's. <laughs> Finally, after a long and arduous journey, you are rewarded with video gaming's finest end credits song ever recorded. Then we played Aladdin, a licensed movie game. I don't get why this is so good, but it is, and it's also a testament to how wrong a developer can be about his own work. I mean, the Genesis one is surprisingly good too, in a completely different game, mind you, but come on. Come on. The Super Nintendo one? Masterpiece. You can blow through this whole game in an hour, but that's just because there's no filler. It is back-to-back -back quality. Except for this part, I hate this. Do yourself a favor and make getting Aladdin one of your three wishes. And then for the other wishes, get two pizzas. Cause I